Does Zion have any shot at catching Ja for Rookie of the Year? No, too many games have passed, and, and Ja has played at too high a level. So, Ja Morant's played half a season. He has yeah. a half a season lead. And this is coming from someone who believes you add Zion to this team, I think they can make the playoffs. They're, yeah. they're three and a half back, and maybe that's even over Ja's team. But that would be because of his teammates also, mm -hmm. not just him in a vacuum. You're adding an almost all-star level player mm -hmm. for half a season to a team that's close. Ja Morant is also, by the way, explosive and exciting and whose highlights are going to be on SportsCenter and this show and other places. Also breathes life and energy into a franchise. And Z not going to have the same minutes restrictions or anything like that. And is playing, John Morant's already playing at quasi all-star level. So imagine how much better you have to be than an all-star to overcome a guy who has half a season of work in at almost all-star level already. It's just too much time passed. And unlike a situation in a sport well, where, like, an Embiid's rookie year, right? They're, well, you're really going to give it to this guy. He's not nearly as good. It's not like Ja is not sensational. He's sensational. And he's got a half a, a, half a, a, a season head start. Mm -hmm. Zion can't win rookie of the year. I think he can. I think he has a shot. I'm not saying he will. But the question is, does he have a shot? I think he does. Number one, he'd have to be healthy. Number two, I think he's going to average better than 20 a game. That's what I, I think he's going to average around 18 to 20. I should say better. 18 to 20 a game. So Josh and and they're double the, And not only that, is Memphis going to remain successful? Is John Morant going to continue to excel? I believe the answer would be yes. If I had to bet my money, it would be on John Morant. But does Zion have a chance the way to he's going to be the focal point of the New Orleans Pelicans, the kind of shine that he's going to get, the kind of things that the voters are going to gravitate towards. Yes. There's another name that I'd like to mention other than John Morant, though, because I want to give this brother some love. How about this kid, Kendrick Nunn? Mm -hmm. Out of Miami. Mm -hmm. yeah. Special. Special. Miami's I like this kid. They're a piece away. They're a piece or two away. But I'm telling you two right now. East. They, uh, but I'm telling you right now. They can shoot perimeter shots. They're athletic. They got an open court game. They've got sky. Fortunately for them, they've the Celtics are getting healthy. And they've got perimeter shooters. You're right yeah. about Boston getting healthy. But I like Kendrick Nunn a lot as well. All I'm saying is this. To me, the biggest competition right now for Zion, because of his popularity, his stardom, et cetera, is John Morant. If Memphis tails off in any way, and simultaneously, New Orleans ascends. And you could directly point to Zion's arrival because you might ignore the fact that New Orleans has won 10 of their last 14 games. Uh -huh. Okay? And all of a sudden, they squeeze into that, into that picture because Memphis descends. Then I think he'd be in the position to snatch it because of his popularity. I first off want to give credit to Pat Riley and to Mickey Harrison. That's a great pickup on Kendrick Nunn. He played on Golden State Warriors G League team last year. Right. Okay. And they found him. Great development for them. Yeah. Yeah. To to say that Zion Williamson does not have a chance to win Rookie of the Year. I, that's asinine. That's asinine, Max. I love you. That's that's just flat out wrong. It is half a season, but. It's going to feel like two years with the way Zion is going to be pushed in our face. That's right. And if Zion is able to be healthy, mm -hmm. they have a very dynamic team. He will average. I mean, I think he will average 18, maybe 15. I say 18 Just with 20. the way he plays. He doesn't need the ball to average these type of numbers. And the fact is, he's a momentum type of player, man. He is going to be everywhere. John Morant is a very a special talent. Incredible talent. But I'm telling you, the way the Pelicans with Drew Holiday who comes back, he might be one of the best two-way players we've seen in the game for a while. Alonzo Ball playing at a high level. Brandon Ingram playing at a high level. Zion will average those type of points in very quick minutes because of the way the Pelicans right, will but, play. But, but, but and if they do tell off... If, if they, he wins Rookie of the Year, then anyone who votes for Zion, that's an asinine vote. In other words, what Why? you're saying is they, may, they make it wrong. Because you cannot... Like, you say, oh, he may average 15 to 18 points, and he has really, really good teammates. What I'm saying is John Morant right now, already for half a season, has averaged 18 points and seven assists and a steal a game for a team that has at this moment is, shooting from is, the field. Yeah, is, is in the playoffs at this moment. Mm -hmm. So, so if they off, don't make the playoffs, if it, tails off if, it, if it tails off and they don't make the playoffs, that's not because of John Morant. That's because he doesn't have Brandon Ingram and Lonzo Ball and Drew Holiday and now, you know, on, on these guys around him. If it tails off. But to suggest that a guy... Even if Zion plays at a slightly higher level than Ja, he's not going to play way higher level, that that will have as much value as a dude who's done it for 40 extra games? Get out of here. If someone votes for Zion, they're just wrong.
Brandon Roy won it. He played 57 games. That was 06, 07. Mm -hmm. So how many, how many games would about yeah, roughly – But John wasn't in the league. That's the point. It's not no, just like I'm an NBA year where – No, but I'm we you... have seen it where people haven't well, played the entire but Max, season. But Max, but yeah, here's the point. As I but said, Max, here's the point. It's almost like being on when, – when, what is it called? The seesaw or whatever. Mm -hmm. but if Ja descends yeah. at the same time Zion ascends – then you have then, then the argument that Jay and I are making makes total sense. Now, you make total sense if Zion comes on the scene and he busts onto the scene and he, he wreaks havoc. Yeah. Yeah. But Ja doesn't change. Then Ja wins. Yeah. Then Ja wins. What, what and he might be on a minute. Ja ja right. They're going to be worried Look, about the health with yeah. this guy. You'd be right if Ja gets hurt. Knock wood, that doesn't happen. Or if Ja descends, not just like a tick, Ja, the, the floor would have to cave in the way he's played. And does anyone here think the floor is caving in on Ja? I'm not gonna say, all I'm going to say, though, is from playing the league, you do hit a rookie, rookie wall. wall. Yeah. yeah, You do hit that. Your legs get heavy. We haven't seen that in Ja Morant handle that. I think Zion might be different because he has missed those games. Giant Ja legs ain't getting heavy. Long term, <laughs> Jay. Ja got anti gravity legs. And in all fairness, it's not about what will happen, it's what does have a, what has a shot at happening. I, I think it's a so shot. Far. That Zion could. It, there is a said. shot that the, a narrative could be formed, like barring injury, of course. Let's let's leave that out. That a narrative could be formed where writers mistakenly give the award to the wrong guy. That's true, but that would have to be a huge. And be blunder. mindful, also be yeah. mindful. John Morant does play with a couple of veterans. Jay Crowder's been around the league for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Valanciunas has been around the league for a while. Jaron Jackson can play. Dylan Brooks is a bad boy you know, too. So, so, yeah. Exactly. Brandon so, Ingram is averaging 25 Jay, points a game. Purely basketball. Who do you think ends up having a brighter Ooh. future? Brandon Ingram. Yes. I, uh, you know, I, I hate to project upon a player's future because I want everybody to do well of and make course. a lot of money. I get worried about, like, can you really retrain yourself how to land? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.